What's up y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Today's gonna be a good old video. We're getting out for some bank fishing with Adele. You guys have been asking a lot about the boat stuff. We're gonna be taking the boat out a lot soon, but for today, we're hitting the banks again. We've been doing a lot of kayak stuff. Believe me, we wanna take the hot tamale out, but Devin only has so many days off a week. We gotta capitalize on those days. We got a couple plans this week, which may or may not involve the hot tamale. You'll just have to stick around and see, but let's get right into it, man. We brought four combos. We brought the baits. Don't worry, we got more in the back. <laughs> but we're hitting a new pond, actually. This is one that I just found on Google Maps. I was looking around, and I figured, let's try something different for y'all. This one looks pretty sweet. Got some uh, piles of grass lined up around the edges here. It's got a rock wall going all the way around it. It's windblown on the side that I'm on. It's not the biggest pond ever, so it's going to be quick and easy to cover, which is good because it is like an hour sunset is in an hour and 28 minutes. So we have a limited time frame to catch these fish. This is a Google Maps hour and a half fishing challenge, if you will. We're gonna go ahead, strap up, and get out here and try and lay the hammer down on some fish. Adele is joining me and he should be here any minute, man. Let's go have some fun. All right, y'all, so I am thinking. The water does not look super clear and it is quite windy. The uh, situation calls for a black and blue color, if I'm not mistaken. I might get down there and it's clearer than I think, but that'll be okay. I think it's got a slight stain at least. So black and blue casting jig, we're going with the Juicy. It's been a minute, 3 8 ounce, that's why I wanted to throw it, show something different. And then also we have a spinner bait today, given the wind. And also, I don't know how deep this thing is. It could be fairly shallow. If that's the case, this thing cruises nice and slow. We'll be able to cruise it anywhere in the water column, whether we want to go down low or we want to fish it nice and slow close to the surface. And I think we're going to get some hits on either or both of these to start. And then I don't know what Adele's going to throw. I'm going to go ahead and get these things rigged up real quick so we can just get out there and start fishing. Oh yeah, we are rigged and ready. All I got on me is a couple spare GoPro batteries and our baits of choice, man. Let's get out here and try and slay. All right, I'm going to try and block y'all from the wind. Y'all see this right here? Summertime, I'm thinking shade, man. These fish are going to be where it's dark right here. I'm going to try and cast the jig right along this. I'm going to cast the jig right along that stuff. And then I'm going to even swing the spinner bait right by it. See if we can't get a hit right here. One of the first places you want to start when it is getting real hot. Follow the shade. I was wondering if this was going to be a jiggy bottom when you see all this mush. It actually seems pretty good. Seems like a little bit more of a hard bottom once you get out there. Let's get a cast out deep real quick. All right, we're going to walk it down. But first, I got to run back to the truck, actually, because this next zone looks pretty froggy. I don't want to hit that without the frog on deck. Let me go grab it out of the truck. Yeah, check this out, man. Before we get in all the froggy goodness, let's chunk the spinnerbait out right here in the shadow. Yes, please. All right, let's switch over to the jig. Cast out further. Same route as the spinnerbait, just giving them something a little bit different. Let's walk it down and get after the frog for just a second, but a quick thank you to every one of you that has entered our giveaway for the rod and reel uh, and it also just contributed to our growth over on instagram i wanted to shout you guys out thank you so much we literally just hit 75,000 followers as i'm out here fishing this afternoon i hope you can see that anyways thank you guys so much if you haven't entered the giveaway it's back a little ways i post three times a day so the giveaway is down here boom it is this post it uh huge fishing giveaway very simple entry rules and you can win an SLX XT, which is this reel right here. Literally, I get so many questions about this reel. It's one of my favorites. It's actually the newest reel, or one of them, one of the newest in our arsenal. The SLX XT, centrifugal braking, like it casts a freaking mile. It just gets the job done, man. Thank you guys so much for all the support on Instagram. With that said, let's break out the frog. Surely there's not a bass right here. Okay. Now see, this looks good. I'm seeing bait fish in these openings in the pockets. This could be, there might be some bass on this. Something's coming over to it. Looks like a turtle. I see Hunter and Adele just pulled up there over there. There's a little playground here. Kiddos are having fun. Oh, that was a frog bite. Oh my God. Stop getting distracted, gosh dang it. We just had a frog bite and I'm over here talking about. Adele, if you're watching, that was your fault. <laughs> what just happened? Golly, we're over here trying to get frog hits. Actually. That delayed hook set is really what you want. I'm sure that was just a small bass and didn't get a good hold of the frog. Um, but <laughs> that was quite comical. 
So something is hungry and ready to feed on the top water over here. That walk turned into a not walk. So common practice is to follow up your top water blow ups with a uh, bottom bait. Let's see if whatever that was is big enough to hit the jig, assuming I don't get it all messed up in this grass here. Gotta tell you what, I can't say I'm thrilled with the bass output at this place. Look at what's so deceiving too. I even did a cross check on Google Maps. I like got on the Fish Brain app too. And look, there's so many catches at this place. A lot of them just this week. A lot of bass, man. There should be a lot of fish right here. So I think what I'm gonna do is give this a little bit more time. I haven't seen Hunter or Adele pull anything out yet either. And we might hop back on Google Maps and see if there's any more water around here with satellite view if we don't get a bite in the next few minutes. Well, I don't know. Yep, y'all, they ain't hitting here. We gonna make a move. Y'all just made the first move. Couple anglers over here hitting the banks already. One's GoPro'd up, man. Hopefully got a good, successful channel going for himself. I'm going to grab the sticks, head out here at Dylan Hunter. This is their little honey hole, man. Let's go ahead and get some fish. All right, y'all, well, good news. Adele is throwing the fluke, and while I was switching the GoPro battery and getting ready to pick up the zinger, he just caught one, so I got a good feeling this bait might be what produces over here. Something a little bit more subtle, like just a plain fluke, is probably better, but we're throwing in the whole spinner bait. We'll see what happens. These fish do seem a little lazy today. Let me check the Bass Forecast app and see what it says as far as when the bite. It looks like we passed the optimal bite time. Okay, it says a 5.5 out of 10. Fair rating for the bite today. I never base my fishing off that app entirely, but you guys know it's good to just check and see what it says based on the moon cycle weather i'm sure i'll be getting a bite on this spinner bait it's just a matter of getting in front of the right fish here oh just had a hit he's on he's on there we go got him it's a catfish <laughs> classic <laughs> oh no because <laughs> when these guys get hold it's usually the hook gets pretty dang stuck in these guys mouths it would be a freaking cat that gets a hold of me well y'all bit of a bummer but i just got my first fish of the night i don't know if you guys saw it or not literally my GoPro was overheating or something. The screen was black. I tried to save the clip after I caught the fish and it just didn't do anything. So I had to pull the battery out, put it back in, and now it's recording again. It's, I'm sure it's getting this, but it didn't say anything like file repaired. So you guys probably won't see that. All the hard work and effort that goes into these videos sometimes, it is pretty crazy. These GoPros, they have a lot of issues. It doesn't matter which one you get, four, five, six, seven, eight, they all have their own little quirks and kinks and just gotta deal with it. Roll with the punches, man out here trying to do a video a day and GoPro's making it tough on me this evening. See if we can't get another fish though. If y'all did not see that catch, I am bummed out. It does happen and you just gotta keep on going. Switching back to the jig after that little deal. Ah, the big worm, right? The big worm? Oh, come on now. I threw over by that thing twice. They don't like the jig tonight. They want the big old worm. He's throwing the uh... 10-inch uh, bullworm. 10-inch bullworm. All right, there we go. Yeah. There we go. Look at this guy. Dang. Yeah. Little KVD Strike King 10 inch bullworm. It's not 10 inches anymore. Been shorting it down because we've been slaying nothing but hogs, as you can see. Definitely in there. And that's what happens, y'all. You'll notice the tail is still sticking out of the bass. So a lot of times you might think they kind of like nibble the tail and then they got to eat the whole worm. That little guy went head first for the worm and then you set that hook. So you don't have to wait on these fish to always consume the entire worm when you're throwing that big stuff like some people think and I've even talked about in the past. So, there you have it man. Just a little dude, but we'll take him. Hey, first bass on the video tonight. We will take anything, won't we? Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh, hit it on the move and I don't think my drag is set. <laughs> is my drag good? No, it is not at all. All right, let's get him up here. First bass for me of the night, golly. Hanging out over here by the fountain. Maybe it has to do something with the uh, whoop. Cause I only caught a catfish over there on that end earlier. Maybe they like the temperature of the water over here. A fatty on the jig, man. There we go, it's been a while since we got a jig catch, huh? Y'all, check us out, man. We got, a little, we got a little air show going on. Right in time for the jig catch at sunset, man. Perfect timing. I'm gonna keep chunking over here by the fountain. I think that's what the deal is. Maybe it's the temperature of the water. I have no clue, man, but we got the bandito bug as the trailer. Check us out. That's what we're rocking. The water is pretty clear. Potentially a natural color might attract more bites, but it's really tough to say. Let's go ahead and get him back in the pond, man, and get some more. 
Oh yeah! Yee! On the big worm! Nice man. I can't really see ya. <laughs> I wanted a picture of that one. No pictures with that one. <laughs>